I'm Phil. And I'm Angelina. With our husky lightning and a lot of wildlife around us, we live in this fairy tale chateau in France. We love bringing this neglected castle back to life inside. And we've got the vast grounds and parkland to take care of as well. We love the moat, but it brings some challenges with it. But it's all worth it when we get to share it with everyone at our live music events. Follow the ups and downs of our chateau life. You will recall my sign over here for Chateau Bayol um, that I did before and a few other signs. And I'm just having to redo this section because the previous gold paint I've used, you can see there's a little bit of green tinge to it. It had tarnished um, over time, even though it was sealed. So it had a reaction with the varnish on top. So now I'm doing something new, utilizing, which I've never done before, utilizing gold powder. So this is called bronzing colors, uh, bronzing powders. They come in different colors of gold. And this is the one that I liked, uh, which was kind of medium color, not too light, not too dark, because this one aged and went too dark. And this is what it will look like. And it's very, very metallic. I know this is really rough wood, but it's very metallic. Um, I already um, sort of did a test patch here, utilizing some of it. I mean, have a look at that. You can see how that paint in there is really, really, really metallic-y, isn't it? It's amazing. Um, I mean, yeah, look at that sheen. It's really great. So now I need to make a bigger patch utilizing that because I need to do all of this sign updated. And hopefully it'll look something like this, which is rather astonishing. And I think I finally found, after many attempts, the perfect gold paint that you literally do yourself because that's the best way to do this. I mean, over here, you can see the sheen on this round pot. So let's get going. Let's mix this up. And this is what one of my previous uh, signs I did. But this one was actually using gold leaf and see how that reflection on of the gold uh, against sunshine is happening it's really really good but because it's so intricate unlike this huge sign i have to paint there's no way i'm gonna be gilding a small signage and here i am managed to measure out 25 grams or so uh, of the powder and put it already into this container inside here as you can see this was my test one and i managed to measure uh about 125 mils so really really small amount i'm gonna go ahead and pour that inside there and mix up all my um my powder with the um, paint or the varnish shall i say and um and that would be ready oh it's clearly a lot more than i needed but let's see how this goes I'll uh, mix this up and uh, see uh, the consistency of what this comes out as. That's turning into quite nice paint over here. Look at that. I've got a long way to go. I need to mix it up, up properly. But you can see how metallic and reflective this is. It's really incredible. And uh, I'm really happy I've been able to research this new method of making perfect gold paint. And there we are, all mixed up. It's looking beautiful. It's even nice on the pen as well that I've been using to stir. So let's get painting.
it's another day hot outside so i'm working indoors to try and just finish up uh, a few of the projects which are going up next so you've seen me um refresh the gold inside which tarnished over time and obviously this is now completely sealed um i'm just trying to add an extra outline of uh contrast onto this board just using a sharpie um just literally black areas here because it'll make the gold on the cream pop out so that pedestrians are able to see um yeah so it's a nice quick job and easy to do before then phil puts the sign up And here it is. The sign is in place, showing off where you need to go. I like it. Really is so much detail has gone into this. It's a shame just for a sign, but sometimes the effort is all worth it. Now, when people come along up the driveway, see that, they know they're gonna be turning into here. all going here today it's all looking a bit better and then that way to the events oh and let me show you oh let me show you just how amazing these inside gates look now oh, you're coming on the same walk as all the guests will <sighs> look at that look at these gates and railings now they're not finished yet, but they are so bright and shiny. Hello, dog. Please don't get your face in wet paint. And there's more to come tomorrow. Make these bits all pretty. Let's come together. It's only a few days away and we've got a few kind of major issues, which I'm stressing about uh, quietly behind the scenes but it's starting to come together. What do you think?